Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build the perfect section inside of Wix Studio. So here I am in Wix Studio and I have two sections that look identical. However, one of them is built properly with padding, margins, grid cells, stacks, and even stretching an image to the cell. And this one down below, we'll see that I freehanded the entire thing. So nothing's in a stack, nothing's in a grid cell. And as you can see, the sections look identical. However, the reason I would recommend not freehanding this section is because if we continue freehanding the rest of the sections on your website, then you might have a couple sections that just look a little bit off and it's not gonna lead to making your website look consistent and professional. So the point of this video is if we spend the extra 60 seconds to set up a section before we actually add the content and we use those properties that we set for the rest of the sections on our website, then our website's gonna look really consistent and professional. So let's go through the process of how I would create this section right here. So what I would do is add a brand new section and in this section, I would come down to layout and I would add two cells. Then we're gonna come down to the gap here and I would add a little bit of space in between. So I think in my example, I used five VW. Then we're gonna continue scrolling down to position and under padding, we're gonna add 5%, just like that. And then if we scroll up to the top, I wanna set the height of the section to like 600 pixels. Okay. The next thing I wanna do is add content. Now you can go up to the add panel and add a title, a paragraph and a button, but I've already made these right down here. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. And I'm just going to put this at the top for now. And for the paragraph, I'm gonna move it right underneath the title. And lastly, for the button, I'm gonna move this underneath the paragraph. Then I'm gonna grab all three of these elements using the shift key on the keyboard and just clicking the elements. And then we'll have the option to stack them together. Now, one thing I like to do is make sure that all of our items and all of our stacks across our entire website have the same item spacing. So for this example, I might switch this over to scale or I might just leave it as a pixel value and we'll set this to like 22 pixels. Perfect. Then I want to align this to the center using the align vertically option. And for this right cell, I'm just gonna, again, copy this image, paste it in here, and make sure we stretch it to fill the entire cell. Perfect. Then what we can do is grab the section itself, and we can set the height to zero. Now, basically what that did is it shortened the section height to the content size. So because this one is stretched, then that means there is no real height property, that the height is set to auto. However, this stack right here does technically have a height that we cannot change. So it's gonna shrink down to its lowest value, which is the height of our stack, plus the 5% padding on the bottom and the top. However, from this example up here, you can notice that there is a little bit of space above the stack and below it. That makes the image look like it appears a little bit above and a little bit below the stack. So to do this, what we can do is grab the stack itself. We can scroll down to position and we're gonna add like 10% margin to the top. We can add that to the bottom as well. And to me, that is the perfectly designed section. And if we check the responsiveness, we can see that it looks good on desktop. And here is the section we just made and it looks pretty good here on tablet. I might want to expand the paragraph text a little bit. And then if we check mobile, here's gonna be the design and it's gonna be pretty easy to adjust this. So all we need to do really is grab the section and we're gonna switch this cell from columns to rows. And then we can even grab the stack if we wanted to and just align things to the center if we want it to be center aligned. But that really comes down to personal choice. But again, regardless of whatever you choose here, uh, make sure you're consistent with that across your website. So if you want everything to be centered on mobile, like I just did here, then make sure on all of your other sections on your website, you align everything to the center there as well. If you leave all of the items left aligned, then I would leave it there left aligned as well. But in short, that is how you make a perfect section inside of Wix Studio. I know there are a lot of different types of sections and it really does depend on what kind of section you're trying to build because not every section is gonna look like the one I just made. But the principles of setting up the sections first before you add the content and even as you're adding the content, converting things to stacks and adding the margin to the top and bottom to make the height of the section a little bit taller in a more pixel perfect way, 
That to me is how you build a perfect section inside of Wix Studio. Again, you can technically freehand your sections, um, but if you're going for a pixel perfect style website and not something that's more asymmetrical or kind of more artsy, then I would recommend setting up your sections like this. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.